Kobe Bryant. Uh, today is actually the 15 year anniversary of one of the most famous games he ever played when he scored 81 points against the Toronto Raptors. And, and Jalen, you, of course, were on that Raptors team. You personally gave up 18 points. We've had our share of fun with that. And you and Kobe, of course, had a lot of fun with that over the, the course of time. The, the olives, who will ever forget when he wanted 81 olives in his martini. And I just wonder, in the wake of what has happened over the last year, just how you look back on that today, 15 years after that night. I can't lie, Greeny. I want to celebrate the legend of the Black Mamba. And for me, it was an honor to be the bug on the windshield as he had his all-time great scoring affair, the second highest scoring game in the history of the NBA. I'm glad it was his first time that his grandmother got a chance to watch him play. And all of the great things that come with the Mamba mentality. But the one thing I always tell people about that game, and I was a player that played with a lot of enthusiasm and talked a lot of trash or whatever. If you notice, those ain't really highlights. Like, if you ever watch Kobe Bryant play basketball, what you watch it right there, those ain't highlights. Mm. That's just him putting in work. And he never talked trash. He never said anything. Because when you talk trash and you hit your chest and you point up at the sky, and you do the airplane wings after every shot that you make, you know what happens? People want to hurt you. They want to double team you. They want to triple team you. They want to quadruple team you. And he did none of that. And I can't front um, that he's not here anymore. And this is like the, the first time that I guess I've talked about this since his passing. It, I, it, it hits different because I used to be able to still text him about this. See, the one thing a lot of people don't know about Kobe Bryant and I is we actually had a relationship, a friendship. And, uh, and, and, it, just, and it just really feels awkward knowing that uh, his family won't get a chance to see him go into the Hall of Fame. You know, he won't get a chance to, you know, have his statue outside of the Staples Center. And we, we can't in the flesh celebrate his greatness. But for this day, please honor the Black Mamba Please respect this family. Send them your prayers and your well wishes and everyone that passed in that horrific um, helicopter accident. And uh, again, there are going to be a lot of people that speak on the Black Mama's behalf and represent his legacy. I'm really grateful that I got a chance to play in that game and got a chance to see his greatness up close and personal. Beautifully said. And I think for all of us, it just looks different looking back on it all now as we approach the one-year anniversary of that day. We will talk more about that next week. Jalen, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, you are the best. And, and we have more NBA action coming your way. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.